by now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. Could we say that his cause of death was by suffocation due to the fumes that he inhaled? With all the plastic and shit inside the warehouse and the fire, it wouldn't it wouldn't like be that confusing if that was the cause of death. If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but That was definitely a gruesome wound. But it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Yeah, I think Mikon said it herself earlier in one of her things. If you want to torture someone, aim for the stomach, right? There's a lot of I think I think she said there's a lot of vital organs that you can miss in there. Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds, hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlook something. I mean, Monokuma said it himself, right? That the fumes were pretty hazardous. Overlooked, huh? Let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is no matter what. Piece of blue paper. Monokuma's special poison. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? What, what was on the blue paper? Find the Nagito's cottage on his bed. It's round and thin of aluminum paper. Okay, what would that be used for? With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? If it's something that can't be seen, maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hold. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Hmm, the real cause of Naito's death. Is there something I overlooked? Let us consider it. Alright. It's not the knife in his it's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled. There's no way he burned was a cause of death something that cannot be seen. Oh come on. No 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 no. Don't you dare. God damn it. If it's something that can't be seen, maybe he choked himself or liquefied his gut. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Fucking silent noise blocked all of it. Every single bit. With all those wounds, maybe he simply. There's no way he was a cause of death. Something that can Fuck you. There we go. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. 
You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? Maybe he drank it beforehand and his body was on a timer. His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then... Wait a minute. Remember when we threw the um the fire grenades? What if what if the fire grenades had poison in them instead and then it got caught in the fumes of the fire and the smoke and stuff and he inhaled it? Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hardtail appears. Wait, would that mean that we killed him? You're totally overvaluing that tail. His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? The fire grenades? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. The way the poison entered Nagito's body, the answer is written on the warning label. I should think carefully about trying to remember that. Is it fire? Was it inside the fire grenades? Because I remember when we looked down and we said, huh, that was some strange-ass liquid on the floor. What the hell is that? Gotta do this fucking logic dive. I swear, if if I'm right about this and they're making me do another fucking logic dive for a simple answer, I'm gonna be highly upset. All right, question number one: What state was the poison in and when when it took effect? I'm gonna say gas. It would make the most sense. Monokuma said it himself. There were some fucking poisonous, hazardous ass fumes in there. Gotta wait for that shit to air out. I mean, but by that by that justification, if I am right, would that mean that we're the killers, every single one of us? We all kill Nagito? We dealt the final blow. What? I went through it. Okay, whatever. Fuck you, game. Oops, that was my fault. I went a little bit too fast. There we go. Just just a nice gentle ride. Just take our time. Slow and steady wins the race, as always. Because I can't speed through this, no matter how hard I try. Okay, question number two. How did the poison enter Naito's body? Through his mouth, through his nose, through his wounds. Oh, what? Through his nose and wounds would make sense. Was his, nose, was his nose tied up with the tape? They would both make sense. Through his wounds? Let's go with that. No, yeah, it's through his nose. Okay, yeah, it was the, f yeah, it's the fumes. All right, cause maybe the fumes could have entered, you know, his body too, like through the wounds. You know. Oh. Not even the third question this time. All right. Yeah, the poison was in the fire grenades. It has to be. It has to be.
What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. This enhanced liquid is highly potent and takes immediate effect. Please handle with care. Through its volatility, uh, fucking through its volatility, it's uh is low. Oh, what the fuck? I can't even speak. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas. Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose. He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse. But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Cause Monokuma ushered us out, and he said don't go in, let it air out motherfuckers. The reason we didn't breathe in the poison and gas should be able to explain the mystery, because the Monokuma merch. No, the smoke. Well, not the smoke, shit. The smoke is the poison. The fire. The fire. The fire. Or the sprinklers. Or the fire sprinklers. Or something. I don't know. Shit. And it was the sprinklers. Fuck. I see. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. In a in a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breathes it what? It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrolysis. What? So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! Hydrolysis, that's how you say that word. Shit. The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers. Also, the poison is apparently denser than air. So it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. Yeah, but he was on the ground, so yeah, that would make sense. But Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right, all the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? What if it wasn't Nagito's intention to poison himself? Uh, well, but... What? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motives are still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so that he can kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we just finish this here? No, that can't be. There might have been an accomplice. Ha ha! I was right! Huh? Ch Chiaki! What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Cause there wasn't the fire grenades! What if somebody put it in the fire grenades? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. If Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is... The meat on the bone! I see! Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place, in a glass or plastic container. 
plastic container like fire grenades away from sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. No, there still would have. The heat wasn't that intense of the fire. And it didn't last that long, anyways. It would have found some remains of the glass. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it'd completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice! That is impossible! I mean... An accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. But if that accomplice dealt the final blow, wouldn't that be considered a murder? You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right! You're totally right! That's totally it! Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired, tired of downing everyone else. I, I also feel that way. That's why I want to just rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But that's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga! Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up. You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. What if his accomplice was the traitor and he knew it was the traitor? I think that would be reason enough. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> Oh, did you just realize that it was inside the fucking fire grenades? Are we all the accomplice? Is that what you're gonna say? What? What is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of lightning running through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, we might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagito bought the poison, which means... The thing he used as a container was... Hangman's Gambit, right? Exactly. It's the fucking fire grenades. It's the fucking fire grenades. It's not that hard. Why are you guys so dumb? Why are you all so stupid? doing fuck put that down no that's not how you, how you spell grenade shit where's I need an A I need an A I don't have an A give me an A there you go fire grenade 
I got it! Huh? The fire grenades! Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. That bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Is that what the aluminum is? You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The... that is true, but... There was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Hajime... Could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! Sonia's words are proof. That the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? So your words contain a clue that might contain fire grenade secret. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no. That is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. One of us must have knew... If there was only one canister, then one of us must have knew what canister it was. See? I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. It was a murder. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When we threw it at him? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were bought and the moment Naito breathed in the poison gas were the same. Huh. When we all threw the grenades? Yep. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. So are we saying that Nagito literally just chose some sort of fucking weird-ass roulette type of thing, and whoever picked up the magic fucking fire grenade that had the poison is now the murderer? That's pretty fucked up. If, if that is true, 
Then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The, then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade... It was Nagito himself, right? I see! It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito. I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now... Whose idea was it to throw the fire grenades? Why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? I see! Don't tell me, he... He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Okay. Huh. See. Damn. Huh? C could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason... He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison, and then... Whoa, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death! It might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? This is highly bullshit right now. What the fuck? That was his trap all along. So one of us is a killer by chance. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. 
Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you. As expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault. Because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It's impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! Surveillance cameras? Wait a minute. Can you slow down the, the frame rate of the surveillance camera? And track and track which fire grenade got thrown? And which one had the poison in it? If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! And how the fuck is that possible? I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. You're a fucking creep. Uh, please stop! I will never become queen! How can you... I'm so jealous. I mean, how can you have such an all- <laughs> I'm so jealous. You're fucking creep, Kazuichi. So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. Guess, he says. <laughs> how the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Okay. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. The stage is all yours, Chucky. That's right. It doesn't mean the trial's over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. Oh, what? Our closing argument? <coughs> I'm sorry, wait, what? Okay. Hmm. What, 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 uh... Okay, well... I'm just gonna... I don't know... Did that go there? Nope, of course not. Of course not. Hmm. I don't know what order this goes in. Holy shit. Alright, first let's see if we can find the, uh... At least I know that, that goes there. Him tying his hands up. We need that one, too. There we go. And the tape. No. Oops. Oh wait, no, it's right there. That thing's right there. We don't need that. Maybe the fire grenades don't belong there at all? No? Or maybe the fire grenades belong here. 
or here. Damn, I'm sucking at this one. This one's terrible. There we go. And the poison goes here. Alright. The lighter would go... No. Where would the lighter go? Here, maybe? No, that's him setting the lighter, my bad. Not the lighter going off. Damn it. I'm gonna die doing this. There we go. I don't think that goes there. No. Man, that takes away a lot of health. Holy shit. What the fuck? Would it be this one? Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I fucked that up too. Sprinklers. Here's everything that happened in this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up, he also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushy factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. 
But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? What? He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolutely hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. His talent? I see! Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So, it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. It was a life-threatening game. I mean... It wasn't a life-threatening game. It was just a little escape game that ended up with some Russian Roulette. Russian Roulette? It's a game where you load up one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and... Bow. So, you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would have been fine if I only used one bullet? Huh. I guess it was just as Monomi said. Huh? I must... <laughs> I misunderstood and thought 
I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. And that, you only have one in six chance of surviving. But I'm still alive, after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to f to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent is trash, but... I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Huh? I'm left with a red mark? <laughs> for someone called the for someone called the lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought. It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Hmm. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Are you saying that Nagito knew that one of us knew it was poison? What, what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. The traitor? A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... He left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? Most likely the traitor. No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. I see! That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then, what he said in his video message... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activities. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing! That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then it's just as Nagato said at the beginning. His purpose was to we uh, wow, I had like a stroke. His purpose was his purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believe in that night if we just believe in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason he took so damn long was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor! By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for the target. But he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? 
Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. Created? Wait, what? Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Are you trying to tell me that you can't say you're the traitor? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Chiaki, you know what you're saying, right? Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. I'm actually crying a bit here. What the fuck? <laughs> I... <sighs> this is bullshit. It's... You? Chiaki, you were the traitor? That's bullshit. Ah, uh, you totally guessed right. What? Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. Your whole attitude just changed. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the future foundation to hide among you all is me. I trusted you. This is... I mean... This nonsense is... Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! I don't think we were tricked either. I mean... If she was... If she really had the intentions of being the traitor... She wouldn't have out herself like that, right? After all... We have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie! But please, wait! The future foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity, so the only thing left to do his vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet! I would have been... <laughs> what? <coughs> <coughs> what? Like, I know I said she was the killer, but I would have liked it more if she was just... The, if she just had like a grudge against him, but what the hell? If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? 
Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? Yeah, sure. Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. How the hell am I supposed to do that? What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... I mean, Chiaki did stop me from going to the final dead room. And she did smack some sense into Akane, but... Damn. She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor. Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I... Always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn it. Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Monami and Chiaki's relationship, proving it here is. Is that the only way? <sighs> I'm against Monomi? Investigated Nagito's cottage. I discovered a notebook with the new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this? Is this Monami's diary? Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too, so that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No. The truth is I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Are you telling me that's Chiaki's diary? Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, 
It's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. The topic we discuss in that entry, the final dead room. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. He probably panicked because no one believes him. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room. But the only one who knew that. If, if I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to the octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this. I can finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? No, I think it was real. Miss Sonia. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Buzz. Looks like it was wrong. Maybe that buzz was the correct answer. And there was a bomb inside there. Hidden with the fireworks. And she disabled it. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course I don't. Of course not. I will not believe it. I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor. There is just no way. I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... but... Then nobody will be saved. Okay, let's see what we got. Chucky is not the traitor. When we were trying to turn off the oops, wrong button. I want to see. <coughs> I want to see both accounts real quick. Uh, bomb from military base. Uh, ancient ruins found out the bombs were fakes at the time. Monomi was apparently peeking at the whole thing. Oh, yeah. And if Monomi told Chiaki, that would make a lot of sense. Bomb. Monokuma never gave it away to anyone. Chiaki used the card reader right away. But if Monomi was She's watching her, she would have been more cautious. Then she would have known. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was. Me when I try to detonate it. That's not it. That's not it. Sonia shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? 
Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! Enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. And just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! <sighs> Come on, Sonia, just give it up. You're making it more depressing for me. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Jackie is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! Uh, so, you know, she's panicking pretty badly. I won't have any words if I counter her Even if she right knew away. The bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! I can't back down! Are you really gonna fight me on this? Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami... ...who knew that ball was fake! That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island! Oops, I'm sorry. That was wrong. My bad. I panicked. There was someone other than me and Monami... ...who knew that ball was fake! That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island! Monokuma probably told Chiaki... ...that it was fake beforehand! Wait, wait, what? If so, you cannot declare that! Monami and Chiaki were working together! Wait, I'm sorry, I do- she- she- what? She completely confused me. Cause there was two of them on screen at the same time. Who knew that bomb was fake! That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. Monokuma didn't tell anybody. He kept it to himself. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Then, where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs were all fakes. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you this for the first time. Phew, what a relief. Th that Monokuma may have just been lying! No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. <sighs> Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? Don't say that. That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? It's not okay, but we don't have no other choice. That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? I'm entrusting my life to Chiaki. Why can't you guys see that? She wants us to do it, so I'm gonna believe in her. There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you, that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. 
<laughs> Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Cause... This is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Ch chihaki Monami. I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And... I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me, and cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? Got a B for bullshit.